Welcome again to another edition of DX Engineering videos. Today here in Townley, Ohio, the home of DX Engineering, we're very pleased to have Jay K4ZLE and Wayne K8LEE just fresh from the CY9C St. Paul D Expedition that they did just a few days ago. Welcome Jay and Wayne. Glad to be Thank here. Thank you very sir. much. Yeah. Glad to be, glad glad to be to here. Stop. It was on the way. Wow. And so you guys like are driving from the island? Yes. How, this, how did this work? This is our third day driving back. It's a 1,700 plus mile trip. Yeah. We have a 26 foot U-Haul full of partially DX engineering <laughs> equipment that's been donated to us for the uh, expedition and we appreciate that very much but it's, it takes three days to make that trip. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so how did it go? How many QSOs did you make? And, and tell us just what happened. Well I'll tell you a little bit then I'll turn it over to Mr. Wayne there. We made about 63,000 cues, Wayne, uh, on all modes from 160 up through uh, EME. Uh, the EME station got blown away shortly after we got there, but I think he had about 600 cues. I'm not exactly sure. We were on two sites, one site on a small island on the northeast point, and another one at Atlantic Cove where the operations normally take place. The, we were at the Atlantic Cove site, the EME was at the other, but they had better takeoff angles in all directions than we did. Wayne, uh, you work mostly uh, teletype, yeah, tell yeah, them about we, it. We, uh, we had, uh, on our website for a year, we had uh, surveys that uh, people all over the world could take, and right away we saw there's a big interest in RTTY, radio teletype, so we had a dedicated radio teletype operator, me, and it was quite successful, quite in demand. It was uh, it ran well, made a lot of contacts, so that we satisfied. Uh, uh, we were on uh, all bands on radio teletype except for for 10 meters. The band condition just didn't warrant any 10 meters or, or 12 meter activity, but it went well and everything else. Uh, I can't. I, it was surprising of some of the new countries that uh, I work from that area. We had seven people on our island and. Five, seven and five. Four, seven and five on the other. And uh, um, there was side being running all the time. Uh, CW was uh, a big push. I, I would venture to say that uh, CW was not probably 54 to 55 percent of the QSOs and then single side being in radio teletype. And up on the other island, uh, WW2DX and the others work, work working a lot of six meters, six or seven hundred contacts on six meters would work well. You can talk about transportation to and from the yeah, and that, so yeah. where did you guys uh, where did you drive to and then how did you get to the St. Paul line? We drove to a little town called Dingwall population 600 and where's Dingwall? And Dingwall is almost at the northern tip of Cape Breton Island in Nova Scotia. You can see St. Paul Island from there. Uh, it's about 16 miles off the coast. It's uh, the drive, like I say, you go up what's called the Cabot Trail, one way or the other. It's a circle up uh, Cape Breton Island. Uh, it's pretty treacherous in some points if you go up on the west side of uh, the, the trail. The east side only has one large mountain. And like I say, with a 26-foot truck, it's uh, not an easy drive all the way. But three-day drive, as I said. We drove up, arrived in Dingwall. The next morning, now we were fortunate that uh, three people joined our team late in the planning stage from New York, and one of them happened to have a helicopter. And he took his helicopter up, and he took a lot of us, well initially we were, the people were placed on the island on the helicopter. A lot of the equipment was brought over by the fishing boats, and all of the equipment was taken off from our site by the fishing boat. Uh, so it was fishing boat off, fishing boat on for the equipment, helicopter on for most people, helicopter off for some. Wayne, myself, and Murray, WA8DAN, WA4DAN, uh, WA4 uh, were the last there to, uh, to come off. Now the morning we came off was Monday morning of this week, and uh, we had to scurry to get off. They sent the boat out at four o'clock in the morning to get there for us. We, had, we were off the island by 10.30, and if we'd have been there 10.31, uh, I don't think we would have gotten off the island. It'd still be there. Wow. Bad weather. Very that, stormy. Yeah, that yeah. island experiences, in my opinion, all four seasons in one day, it, and it's been known for that. I, I talked with uh, F2DX, who had been there uh, 20, 30 years ago, and he was just still fussing about the weather. It can be uh, 
uh, very, very rainy and high winds, 30, 35 knots, and very cold and damp in the evenings, and then uh, by an hour in the morning, it's, it, it's extremely hot. So when you get uh, the helicopter ride over to the mm -hmm. island, do you step off, and is, I mean, are there cars there, and they take you to the Hilton? <laughs> right? I mean, what, what's the deal? Well, well, we were in the Hilton, all right, uh, the Tent Hilton. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Myself and John Camella, who is N8AA John Camella's son, were the first two on Atlantic Cove site, and we set up a couple of tents to start with before everyone else got there. Um, but it, there, there's nothing there. It is a true tent and generator operation. We use the Honda E2000 uh, generators. They ran like uh, champs. Uh, of course, it's only about a 2KW generator. Mm -hmm. We use the Ellercraft equipment for the most part with the 500 watt uh, KPA 500s. Uh, they ran very well. For the low bands for 160 and 80 meters, we used a uh, SBE, SPE 1.3, the new amp of theirs, mm -hmm. and uh, it ran like a champ down there. So equipment wise, everything ran well. It's t true tent genera generator. Meals were basically MREs or freeze dried, whatever you could bring with you. Uh, we did have a mess tent, if you will, but it was a mess. Yeah, and we also had the, uh, the the Battle Creek Special Antenna with us, which has been all over the world. I've used it uh, two other occasions on two different places, and it was it was kind of kind of neat to uh, turn the lid over and see all the different places that been where I've been before, and we also, of course, uh, marked it up where we've been, and that worked well for us in 160, 80, and 40. Uh, it, it, yeah. it was all in all good. Um, we wanted to have uh, uh, to to step into the 21st century with total internet cooperation and almost like real-time logging. But I think days before we got there, there was a repeater site on the mainland that actually just just quit working. I mean, a cell site where mm -hmm. power is gone. So the only, the other part of the island had internet access. We did not have that. I was looking forward to doing that, but the best leads of plans of mice and men and most expeditions. That but we did upload our logs once yeah. a day. Yeah, right. uh, of course, the people who are looking for the instant gratification, wanting to, would yeah. be working us several times. I wasn't in the log, so I'm working you again. Well, that's right. If, on our site, it's once a day. You have to wait 24 hours to find out if you're in the log. But, yeah. but everything worked out. You're happy. Nobody got hurt, and uh, <laughs> and you worked over 60,000 people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are you going to call this a success? I call it a success. I that's hope it. the people that we worked call it a success. Yeah, yeah. Great. Uh, it was great. It was uh, an adventure all the yeah. way, still under it, because we still have at least four hours before we get home with a truck. But it's uh, it's been worth it, I hope. Yeah. Well, we're, we're really glad that you guys stopped in here kind of on a whim uh, to visit because DX Engineering was one of your sponsors. Yes, sir. Thank you. And uh, we really appreciate you stopping in to, yeah. to meet the staff here and to say hello and for doing this interview today here with us. Yep. And uh, we wish you well in your, your next adventure mm -hmm. and we look forward to many more QSOs down the log. Very we good. look forward to giving them out. That's yeah, why we go. Very good. Thank you. Alrighty, 73 from DX Engineering. Au revoir. Yeah.